in, in many religious uh, philosophies, there is confusion about uh, whether that state of nirvana is gradual or instantaneous. Some people say it is instantaneous, sudden, satori. And some say, no, no, it won't come like this. It has to come gradually by stages. Even Buddha got it through stages, he says. And some say, no, Buddha got the nirvana instantaneously, suddenly. Sudden, spontaneous, effortless and instantaneous realization. That is what they say. Some say, no, it is not like that. What is true? The truth is in between the two. As I have given you an example, you go to a mango orchard, then you see a beautiful mango there, and then you pick up a stone and then try to, uh, try to get a stone. One stone. No, you, you miss the target. Again, another stone. You miss the target. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The twelfth stone type. And then you get the mango. Now, did you get the mango by twelve strokes or one stroke? If it is one, you would have get it with the first stroke itself. And if you say twelve strokes, the twelve stroke didn't hit the target. It was come down only by one stone only. The point is, the one which struck the mango being the twelfth one. What happened in between this eleven is that you are getting the art of how to throw the stone in the right manner so that it hits the target. Once it hits the target, it is won, finished. But all these things is the art to know how to hit it. To some it may be eleven, to some it may be third, some it may be hundred, a thousand or one. If you really want the mango, you have to go on say, till you learn the art. If I say art, mark my words, not the efficiency. You play, do you play shuttlecock or badminton for instance? I do not know shuttlecock. In my days, it is only badminton. Hmm? When the ball comes, if you take it just the skill, the science of it, you will calculate in which angle the ball is coming, with what force is coming, how many horsepower, what is the volume of the ball, and in which angle it is coming, and what is the opposite force of the wind against it? And what is the surface velocity of, the, of my back? And then calculating it, this is square, this square, this square, this square. Okay, I'm on site. Will anybody do it? First, when the ball comes, you miss it. But what happens is by you, you learn the art. You simply know it. And spontaneous, effortlessly strike the ball in such a way that it goes across the net. A good sportsman is an artist. 